it's always a great day in my book when I'm able to talk about a new Theo Whammy mouthpiece. And today I'm going to be talking about this beauty right here. This is the highly rated new Lakshmi mouthpiece. Now, of course, Theo mouthpieces are famous for depicting gods or goddesses. And in this case here, this beautiful looking Lakshmi uh, goddess, in this case, is the goddess of wealth and good fortune, the Hindu goddess of wealth and good fortune, I should say. So I'm going to be talking about this piece today, demonstrating it, and I've got a little bit of a surprise for you at the end of this video. So let's just take it back a step and talk about what it is that Theo is offering in this new piece. And the idea is that it's based on an Ottolink Florida Link, that classic old mouthpiece design that is going nowhere because it delivers beautiful results for the modern tenor player. And the way I see Florida Links is that they have the best of everything in that they have this rollover baffle which gives us just enough edge to be able to project in, in the modern world, as it were, and then they have enough chamber inside to give that breadth of sound. Uh, so you get this nice meld between those two aspects. And Theo has done a beautiful job with this mouthpiece in terms of those two aspects. <laughs> Theo always takes things one step further in my book in the way he thinks about mouthpiece design. And one of the big things in Theo's world recently, in uh, recent years, is that he has introduced this, as he calls it, a stadium chamber to his mouthpieces. And this is not only a stadium chamber in this mouthpiece, but it's a large stadium chamber. And what that comprises is this large chamber inside but it's integrated into a medium chamber. So he's got, um, if you like, the best of both worlds of a medium chamber and a large chamber going on in this portion here. This is where the medium, medium chamber is. And this is where the large chamber is. And you can clearly see those two distinct sections in the mouthpiece. Um, now, I mentioned a rollover baffle, and normally with a roll, rollover baffle, we think of this sort of smooth curve downwards, and, and it is like that, but there's a little bit of a bump for my money, about eight mils in there. I mean, anyway, that's the internal geometry of the mouthpiece, and I should say that in order to produce internal geometry like we see represented in a mouthpiece like this, um, it takes incredibly advanced technology and CNC machines are needed to do this. And it's no secret that Theo has one of the most expensive CNC machines on the planet. And I suppose that's one of the reasons why we consider Theo pieces as being premium products that we pay a lot of money for because the technology that produces them is so expensive and therefore the end products are so expensive. And within that we gain huge consistency. That is another thing that tells Theo's mouthpieces apart from perhaps some of the competition. He's got a big thing about producing mouthpieces that are end products when they come out the machine. There's no hand finishing. So you take this mouthpiece, which is a six star in this case, and it's got its own serial number, okay. Um, yes, they are differentiated by serial number. But if I was to take another six-star Lakshmi mouthpiece, it would be practically identical. So, yeah, I'm going to be blowing on this one today. I've, I'm going to say a few things after I've blown on it as per usual. But just a few other little details to point out about it before I do so. I just love the presentation of his mouthpieces. So, I mean, for a start, you've got this lovely engraving on the front. Um, which just makes the whole thing just a really seductive prospect. And then if you just take the finishing features, uh, for example, this ligature here, this is what's known as his alive ligature. And you can see here that there are five options for fixing this ligature into place, which just give you slight um, response and tonal variations as you move it up and down the mouthpiece. 
Um, the whole thing is 24 karat gold plated and we're not talking shoddy gold plating here, it's beautiful gold plating with just this slight sort of fizz to the finish. Um, it, yeah, sort of sheening. Um, you can see the sheen there in the light as I just rotate it there, almost a sort of satin look to it, which I absolutely love. Okay, so let's get on and play it and then we shall discuss a little more after that. <laughs> Well, overall, I find that a really pleasurable mouthpiece to play. It's a nice balanced sound. And as I mentioned in the outset, it's got that nice blend of the two things. There's a certain edge there, and it's a nice edge. It's not a nasty edge, but it's just got that uh, silky silveriness to it that's enough to cut through in most contexts, really. Um, but at the same time, it's got a really nice core. I mean, that is one of Theo's big words. He loves using the word core. He has it in all his marketing, and we sort of imitate that in our marketing because I agree that that is a great way of describing a lot of the Theo pieces. I mean, he has core in all of his mouthpieces, but to just different degrees, if you like. And this, this one here has plenty of core. Um, you can clearly hear that. It's not a woolly sound. It's very clearly defined is what we really mean by core. Um, at the bottom, there's a nice fullness to it. It's got a breathiness when you want to go into that subtone area. And it remains a nice balanced sound as we move through the different registers all the way to the top. There's also a nice resistance to it. You don't want something where you're just blowing the sound, just spills out and you've got nothing else to push against. But there's, there's a nice amount to push against with this. It, it feels like the right level of resistance. I mean, this is a six star. It's not my ideal tip opening. We've actually just sold out of all the other tip open, openings, which shows how popular this mouthpiece is. Um, so we're waiting for more to come in, but I just balanced it out with a slightly tougher E just to give me the right balance whilst doing this test for you guys right here. So overall, yes, an absolutely lovely sounding mouthpiece. Now, my surprise for you today is this. So yes, this is today's big surprise. This is a limited edition Lakshmi in hard rubber. And yeah, the only difference basically between this one and the metal one is that it's hard rubber. But we should be excited because it's great when manufacturers bring out limited edition models. They don't do it that often. And for me, it, you know, to, to perhaps the cynics out there, you might say, well, it's just gimmicky. There's nothing particularly going on with it. Well, for a start, it is an excellent mouthpiece. But there are only 50 of these in the world, so it has its particular place in history for this limited run, and you're not going to see any more after that. So this is your chance to grab these. We have just a small selection of these at sax.co. As I say, only 50 of these babies available in the world. So let's give this a blast and see how it compares to the metal one. <laughs> Well, as you can hear there, actually it does feel like quite a different mouthpiece in many ways. It clearly belongs to the same family and you can hear the commonalities between the two. Um, but just that ebonite sound, the sort of, um, 
I don't know how to describe it really, but it's got this extra warmth and body in there that's... There's, of course there's warmth in the metal piece, but it's a different kind of warmth. Um, it, it just feels like there's a little bit more velvetiness in, in this piece here. And um, the sound is just a bit more retained. I'm actually comparing two different tip openings, so perhaps it's a slightly unfair comparison. Um, but nonetheless, um, it's worth doing the comparison so you can hear the differences between the, the hard rubber and the metal. And I, yeah, I love it in a different way to the metal piece. Um, I feel like I just want to go into myself a little bit more. It doesn't feel like it wants to pop out in the same way that the metal piece does. Um, but lovely mouthpiece in its own right. So there you go. You've heard two Lakshmi's today. This one is the limited edition one. There's only 50 available, so you've got to get one now whilst you can because they're not going to be on the shelves for much longer. So that's a wrap from me today. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like and a thumbs up and do turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another video because we are putting videos out every Wednesday for you guys. And I will see you on the next one.